Hello, sweet friends. Welcome to Carol's Craft Cottage. For today's video, this is part three of the Scrap Diva Designs 3D embellishment book, which I will show you the die right here. We are doing the inside decorating today. So I have lots to share with you. I also used this uh, word, which is the grateful word, and I also used the thank you word. And I will be using the, I'm not going to do it on camera, because I just thought about it before I sat down here. But off camera, I will be using this, which is the lower case alphabet. And I will be using this one, which is the uppercase alphabet and number set. And I will be cutting out the word fall. So I will use the uppercase for the F and the lowercase for the A, L, L. And I'm going to put it along the spine of the mini album. And I just decided that when I went to sit down here. <laughs> so I'm going to just slide this over here. And I will let you know that I will be putting the links to the dies in the description box below. They are affiliate links. When you use them, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help me and my channel. And I appreciate that so very much. Also, you can use Carol 10 for checkout for 10% off your order. And I have all my pieces cut right here. And this is going to be my cover. And I will tell you that I did use the Fall and Halloween Cottage Kids, I think they're called. I'm calling them Cottage Girls, but there are boys and girls in the digital file from My Porch Prints on Etsy. So I did do that and I used the Fall ones. And I won't be putting this on right now. I'm going to save the outside for last because it makes it easier to uh, decorate and finish the inside of your mini album off. Before we start, let me just say that if you are new or this is your first time here, my videos feature lots of paper crafting ideas and tutorials. If this is something you enjoy, won't you consider subscribing? I'd love to have you back. And for all my returning friends and subscribers, welcome back. You mean the world to me, and I appreciate your support and comments. Okay, so I'm going to leave this up here so I can follow it. So it's going to be exactly... Um, well, it's not going to be exactly because I did switch up the last pages. So I'm going to put this aside, which is the cover... And this is the binder, and these pieces come in your die set. So um, these are going to go like this. And then I'm probably going to use a dark green or a brown, mostly, or I can also use a black because I uh, backed this with black because it really made all the colors pop. And... This is my back piece for the album. These all cut out from your die, which is, let me pull it in here. So there are three dies right here that are for the spine. And then I used this die for the front and back cover and just used some of my stash dies to layer these pieces and I have everything is layered and popped up on foam because I like a lot of dimension so we're going to put this aside and do this last the other thing um, I do want to remember to do is the ribbon at the end so I will take and put my ribbon on top of that so we won't forget to do that like I did in the um the uh, bracelet box so we're going to open this up <clears throat> and I have mine numbered because I cut everything um, last between yesterday and last night I cut everything 
so that I could just attach. Now, this was also cut from the die in the set because uh, this is the same size. So this is your first one. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this. And we got to get that glue flowing. And I don't put the cover on right now because I want to be able to get into my album. And the flowers would prevent me from doing what I need to do to get everything to stick in this album. Okay. <clears throat> So we're going to put this piece right here. Just a little bit over more. Here we go. This is why I don't put the cover on. <laughs> All right. So I will show you the paper that I used. It is an older recollection paper set. It's this one right here that's Give Thanks. And like I said, it's an older recollection from Michael's, and it's beautiful. It is really pretty. Okay, so now we are going to go to this side, and we're going to attach this one. Okay, now I do not have measurements for these because um, I think you should measure your book but I will call them out for you and cut your paper according to your measurements. So I have this four and an eighth by five and a half. And there is a little bit of border around the page. Okay. okay. Then we're going to go in here. And I'm not sure if these are the same. Let me see. They may or may not be. They look like they're the same. Yep, so give me let me give you these measurements. These are the same. You're gonna cut two at four and one eighth by five and a half. <clears throat> Excuse me. And when you're cutting out your paper, like this particular piece of paper was a blank in the middle and it had, it was like this, if you can see this. This was how the paper was. And you can see you can strategically cut your paper to make a beautiful um, mini album and be able to use those sheets that you don't think you would use for this. So I hope you grabbed yourself a, a drink because this is probably going to be a long video even though I have everything cut out. Okay, so as you can see here in this mini album, I do have a little pocket over here, and we're going to do that. And you see, I made this little box, and it's going to come in handy. <laughs> 
so I have this one and uh, on this particular one I had this little um, pocket but I decided to go with an envelope for this and this is just a little envelope die that I have had for a while and it's three inches by two inches and I just punched a little circle to help close the die and then it came with these that cut out the inserts so this little embellishment is going to go on the left side just like you saw in the mini album and I'm going to put it right here because I think it looks so cute there so we're just going to glue the back And we're going to put it right there so we don't cover up the beautiful design of that paper and then this accents all right now I have this one I believe that one goes here and these are some cutouts that were in the paper collection and you can do some journaling and put some pictures on the back and then I have this one here that's going to go in the inside. So we'll show you that. <clears throat> so this right here is a die that I have. I've had for a long time. And it's this right here. You can use anything you have in your collection. This is what I used to make my pocket. You can even use a square die if you want to. It doesn't have to be this one. A square one would look nice. And I'm just putting a glue along the edges and leaving this and this and the top open to make my pocket. And then you can see I cho chose the die that fits perfectly right there. Isn't she pretty? So this Cottage Girls or cottage kids do have apples and pumpkins and different things like that and I'm going to take the little inserts and put it there <clears throat> and then on the inside of my mini album I also had a pocket right here and we're going to do the same thing so just a hint that I will tell you that when I'm layering the dies I do not put any foam tape in between these two but I do put a little bit of foam tape between the die and the focal point which in this case is the cottage girl so excuse me I have to cough <clears throat> okay and then I have this right here which was in the paper collection and I'm going to stick it right down in there. Isn't that cute? So we have that page done. And then we're going to go to the back on this one. And here is that paper I showed you. And this right here is four and an eighth by five and a half. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love this paper. Okay, so then we're going to go to this side with this sheet. See how well that coordinates? I hope that Michaels comes back with uh, recollection paper collections for fall and Halloween. Okay, this is five by five and a half.
Okay, and this particular page has a little place for a tag, and I used a cutout for this. So this particular one had this as a cutout, and I thought I'd put one of the cottage kids on there. So we are going to put this right here. These are some little cutouts from the paper collection, and they will slide in here like that. And we are only going to put glue on these two sides, okay? And this is making a tuck spot. Isn't he cute? He's holding some apples. I miss apple picking. When I lived in Connecticut, we always went apple picking in the fall. And then you just put your little cards behind there and you're ready to go. So I forgot to mention these, which are the insert into the pockets. I had forgotten to make these, so I stopped the video and I created these. And I will tell you that they are five and a quarter by five and three eighths. And I have this die set here, which I've had for a long time. I'm not sure where it's from, maybe AliExpress. And you just put this up against the cardstock and you uh, run it through your die cutting machine. Now you can use a, a die that you might have in your collection, which I have this. And you could actually cut out your little spot over here um, and run this through the machine, but not all the way, uh, just up to a certain point to get your uh, little piece that ends off like this. Or you could cut these out and just attach them on there on either side. So that gives you a couple different ways to do what. I just showed you on um, these insert cards and they go in your pockets just like that and they stick out a little bit so that you can pull them right out so now we're going on to uh, let's see we're still on the first section of our interactive mini album and we are going to do this page right here, which opens up uh, three ways. So here is my two one. This is a four and seven eighths by five and a half. So we're going to put this on here. And then we're going to open this up and we have three pages. This is two, two, <laughs> and this is two, three. And this one is okay. This goes in the inside. This is two, four, and this one is two, five. Okay. So we're gonna put this one on first. And this is, so we have this one, and then we have this one to open up. So we're doing this piece right here before we get to the three. So this is two, two. This is four and seven eighths by five and a half. All right. 
right, now we're going to open this up and we're going to attach these three sheets. And I'm going to give you individual measurements. This one is four and three quarters by five and a half. Okay, and the centerpiece is five and one eighth by five and a half. And then we're going to do the end piece here. I have a little piece that wants to stick up right there. There we go. And this piece measures four and seven eighths by five and a half. Okay, now on this one, let's see. I do not have anything on the inside. This is all for pictures on these two pages. And the only thing I do have is something on the front, which would be right here. And let's see what I made. I made this little pocket so what I did is I used a die and I just cut it. So this die set that I used right here, this is what I used and I just cut the bottom of it to get that type of pocket. And of course that is a fall cottage kid. And I'm going to just put some glue on this portion of this pocket. So Think of your dies if you cut them, that you can make pockets with them and they turn out really, really pretty. So we're going to put this right at the bottom of the paper and centered. And then I, I have a tag in this one and I have the word thankful, but I switched it up. You're welcome to do that if you want to. But I switched it up and I have the girl with this tag, which is a, another Cottage Kids, Fall Cottage Kids. And she goes right in there. Now we're working on the second section of Interactive. And I chose, I'm going to put this right here. I chose this paper, which says Welcome Fall to go on top of here like that and this is one of the um inserts and i just cut it down to fit and it's five and an eighth by five and a half I need to pull this down to get this centered. And then I will bring it back up.
Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it. Okay, and then we go in the inside. And I have three two that goes up here and three three that goes here and three four that goes here. So we're gonna do the pocket first. So this piece that goes on the pocket is two and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And we're gonna put this on first. Okay, and you do not have to cut a full sheet of paper to go in this pocket because nobody sees it. Um, so mine is three and five eighths by five. And we're going to sneak it down in here. fit but I did work it <laughs> all right we'll pull it back up to be just like that and then we're going to put this one on top and this is uh, five by five and a half Okay, now, as you can see from this one, we need to decorate the pocket. And let's see what I got to decorate it. Hmm. I'm not sure what I did for that pocket. Okay, this one has a little... Oh, I'm not putting anything there, okay. I might have to come back to this. I'm not sure what pocket I have. I may have meant this for this to go here. <laughs> I think I have these that go in here, but I'm not sure what I have for that yet. We'll come back. Okay. So that was that, and then we are going to insert our next, I think I'll use this one because that's what we have on the inside. We'll insert this in this pocket. And then we're going to work on this side and I will try to figure out what I had made for that decoration on the inside okay we have this one here this is number four okay this one is going to be four and five eighths by five and a half All right, and then we're going to open this up and look at this. So I have these little um, tabs as a 
Let me see if I can find them. Oh, I can't find them. No. Oh, here they are. They're underneath the dies that I showed you earlier. So I have these little tags in the paper set. So I'm using one as a little pocket. So that's going on this side right here. And if you don't have this in your paper set, you can just cut one for your pocket. And it is, I'll tell you, one and three eighths by four and a quarter. And the page itself is five and a half by four and five eighths. Okay, and then we have this page right here. This one is five and an eighth by five and a half. That takes care of, no, nope, we're still working on this. Oh, the, okay, this is, we're working, this was the last of the second section. So then we're going on to number three, page number three. Before I do that, let me go ahead and stick these. I know that one was supposed to go in there. Not sure enough, not that one. Not that one. This one might have been one. Not sure where she goes. <laughs> we'll find out. So I'm gonna stick that one in there for now. Okay, and that is that page. Now we're gonna work on this side, which is uh, section number three in our book. So this sheet right here is going to be four and five eighths by five and a half. Open this up and I'm going to put this side down first. And this one is five and an eighth by five and a half. Okay. And then this page is four and five eighths by five and a half.
Okay, now this has a little um, pocket on this side. And I did create this little um, pumpkin right here. And I know that these go in there. So this is an old Sizzix die that was uh, several different size pumpkins. And I'm just gonna put some around the outside to leave an opening. And we're gonna put it right down center in the page. And then these are gonna be tucked in. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see. I don't want them to get stuck in there. Just like that. Cute. Okay, on this side, on the front here, I had put a little um, pumpkin here because I didn't want to do anything too much with that paper. But for this one, I made this focal point. Isn't that cute? It's adorable. I love it. And these again are the Cottage Kids. And we're going to go ahead and glue this down. And what I did is I fussy cut all my little pieces and I, if you can see, I'm not sure if you can see, but there is uh, stickles on there and everything is flat, but the image, everything. I did do a couple um, runs through the uh, die cutter to make this a little, uh, I forgot what you call that now, <laughs> my mind meant my mind went blank to make it dimensional. There we go. And we need a tuck in. I'm going to use this one right here. So that's good for pictures and journaling on the back. Then I'm going to flip this over and we're going to do this page. Okay. And this pulls out like this. We already put the magnets on when we were doing the, the main part of the book. So we're going to do this one first. And this is two and three quarters by three and three eighths. And then this one is two and three quarters by three and three eighths. And they might all be that, but that's okay. We'll measure all of them. would work better if I went that way, right? There we go. All right, then we have, I'm gonna do this one. Seven eighths by three and three eighths. So 
so normally I would do this, um, I would measure each page before I put these on. So this one is 6-3, which is not the one I want, 6-6. Six, six. Okay, this one's going to go here. This one is... Okay, let's two and seven eighths by three and three eighths. So I think all of those were the same. There's a lot of little ones you gotta cut because this has lots of folds. Put this one here. Okay, then we're going to do the inside here. So you have lots of pictures, places for pictures in there. Okay, three and three eighths, two and seven eighths. And then this one, it's got to be the same. All right, that flips over like that. And this one is going to go like this. And we'll measure this. It's going to be the same, basically. Two and seven eighths, three and three eighths. Yeah. And then the last one on that fold out. Okay, and that goes like that. Now we have this piece, which is this one. And we are five and an eighth by five and a half. All right, and then this goes, it goes either way. I think mine goes better that way. So we're gonna do that. And I have a little um, embellishment on top of here that falls over. So that is what we were gonna do. And we're gonna put this one right here. So let me see which way I want it. I do want it this way, it's better. So we're gonna, attach it to one side so you see what I'm talking about so we're going to put glue on half of this I need to erase this six on here There we go, so that you can't see it. So I'm going to glue it on this side. <laughs> I 
have to double check myself, right? And half of it. And I'm going to center it just like that. Sure, you know, I didn't get any glue. Perfect. Isn't that cute? I think that's adorable. Okay, so now we're going to work on the last section. Okay, so we have this piece right here. Yeah, we're just going right here on this pocket. And not pocket, but flap. This one measures four and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And the reason the measurement is different is because this pocket or this flap is down. Because mostly it, all of it has been five and a half. Okay, then this flips up and we have this one going here and this one going here. Isn't that pretty? This is also another uh, piece of paper that didn't have anything on the top and this was the border. So I cut it like this. Be creative with your papers. So here we have a five by five. And then this one's coming down here. You measure this one. Yeah, five by five again. Okay, then this pulls like this, and then we go into the inside here. And this one is probably five by five. Now, I think I've run into a little problem here. Let me go ahead and use my bone folder to make sure that crease is nice and flat. And make sure that my paper didn't get folded funny. No, it didn't. So we're going right here to the other side. And this one is probably five by five. Five, yeah, five by five. Okay, and then this piece right here is going right here. This one is five and an eighth by five and a half. And you see that this is going to be sticking out, so I matched it with that.
Okay, as you can see in this mini album, we have a pocket there and we have a pocket here. So let me get my little basket here. And see what I created for a pocket. I believe this one is for here. I should have numbered my pockets and I did I did again this particular die cut I didn't cut anything off of it though and we are going to put it right here centered like that so pretty mm, I love this album and then we have, okay, that's going on the inside. And we're going to have this little girl with her little pumpkin tucked behind here. Should have waited for that to glue. All right, let me figure out. Okay, these two are going on the outside. All right. Let me take this out to give it a break so it will glue. Yep. Because it's putting a little bit of pressure on there. So I'm still trying to figure out my embellishments. Oh boy. All right, I know these I made these two for the scent in the inside. So what did I think I was going to use for my pocket? These were supposed to go in here. All right. I should, this is why I should have numbered. My pocket, pocket stuff. All right, I don't know what I'm putting in there yet. Let's go on to cover the back. Okay, I'm gonna do this side. And remember, this is the one that folds, has these folds. So we're on to this piece, which is three and three eighths by three and three eighths. on this side and it is the same measurement then we'll open the flaps These are all the same measurements that I just gave you. This one goes on this side. I want to make sure this is a directional paper. So I want to make sure this is the same direction as that. All 
right, this one is going to go on this side right here. This is five by five and a half. Okay, and that goes over like that. And this one is, this one is five and an eighth by five and a half. So I think I had a little bit different measurement there. Make, make sure that you measure your pages before cutting your designer paper. Okay. Now I have to flip this one over. Whoops, I'm sorry. This one comes out like this. We got lots of uh, pages in here. This one goes here. This one is five and an eighth by five and a half. And then this one is eight, ten. Okay. It's eight, nine, eight, eight. Okay. So on this, let me see. This should be, hang on a second. This is eight, eight, it says. Okay. And this one says, so this is going to go right here. And as you can see, I have a die here that makes a corner pocket. And it's just this die, and then it has the, uh, the die cut to cut your designer paper. You could actually um, do whatever you want to make that corner pocket. You could use like um, one of these as well, but I didn't want to cover up this pretty paper because this goes, let's see, this one goes on top of here and that's how I cut it to um, make it work for these pages. And I made both sides the same. But this is one of my dies from my journals. I have some journal, junk journal dies and that was in that batch. And then I have these which are going to go in there. Let's see. These are going to slip in here like this. Just like that. All right. And then that folds over like that. Then this opens. And. This one says eight, nine is going here. And this one is eight, 10.
Oh, I'll give you the measurement for this one. Because this one is a little bit bigger because we are on the back page of our mini album. So let me give you that measurement. Even though I suggest that you measure your own because you never know depending on how you put your paper down it might be a little bit different than what I got okay this one is five and uh, three eighths by five and seven eighths And then this one is like this is five and an eighth by five and a half. right here and we have our I'll put that one like that because that goes better those go right in there and then this comes over and then we did these little guys right here to go on these flaps. So I have a little girl and a little boy. And she's gonna be centered right there. Oh, I love this mini album. This is so cute. This one's going to go here, and I'll center him there. Okay, let me see. So this is different now because I did not put the extra pages in this one, and I do like the extra pages. So now i got to come back here, and I am going to put this tag in here. And I need a pocket for this. I forgot to do a pocket. Let me see if this would work. No, I don't like that. Okay, what did I? Ouch! Ooh, I hit myself in the head. All right, we do need to put this in. This was uh, the last tag for that pocket. I have to put that in. And then we're going to make something on the fly here for a pocket inside. And I just had a simple pocket in there. Let me see. I'm just going to cut something that matches that. Let's see. All right, this is a page in the Paper, so you see me doing it on the fly. So I kind of like that because then it would match my. Okay, so I'm going to cut that. And 
and I'm going to cut it just below the gold. And my tag is flat. I did not pop up the girl on uh, any foam pads, so it'll fit in here. So I'm going to keep this orange pumpkin. I'm going to cut that one off. So that I can save more of the pumpkin on the other side. And I'm going to measure this. And it is five and a quarter. So we're going to do five and a quarter. So we got a little bit of that white and green pumpkin. Oh yeah, I'm glad I chose that. So I'm going to attach this as a pocket. For the inside here. And we don't want it too bulky anyway. Okay, and then we will take this and tuck it in here. Oh my goodness, that's cute. All right, we're going to let that we'll let that dry for a minute. And we didn't do Let's see. We didn't do one of these over here. This one's good. That's good. That's good. What did I miss? Was that oh it was wait a minute okay we did that oh we're supposed to have a decoration right here and I think it was supposed to be this and I put it on <laughs> yeah I think it was supposed to be this and I put it on a tag so let me see if I can peel it off Yep. It's working. Okay, we're going to put this right there. So cute. All right, let me see where I peel the tag off. But nobody's going to see that. Most of it will be glued. All right, I'm going to put a piece of scrap in the back. So that it doesn't get my tags there. All right, no harm done. Let's see, no glue either, perfect. So that's that one. And let's come back to this little girl and see if she'll go in here. Yes, she will. So cute, right? All right, and I did do this turkey to go somewhere. I forgot where. Let's put it here. Now I should have let this dry too. Okay, it's okay. And I'm going to just put that turkey in there. Very cute. All right, now we got everything inside. And I have a... A girl left over tag. I must have made a bunch of them. All right, so now we're going to work on our cover. And we are going to put this ribbon on here, so center it. And this is how I do it because it seems to stay. 
I'll glue this in the center. I'm sure you could wrap it all around, but I don't do it that way. I just do this. Ooh, my fingers are all glue. All right, hang on a second. I don't want the glue sticking to the tape. Okay. I'm going to have a little bit, but... And there. And I'll cut some off. And, of course, after we make our bow, we do we cut that. So flip it over to the back. Cut a piece. We're going to glue it in the center again. That's not moving. Okay, now we're going to go with our back. And this you're going to cut from the die. And you're just going to place it on there. All right, and then we're gonna go to the front. Make sure I have the front going in the right direction. And we're gonna put this beautiful piece on top. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Fall is right around the corner too. I've already got my pumpkin spice coffee creamer. I've been using it. I haven't gone to the pumpkin candles yet. <laughs> That's coming. <laughs> so we're gonna put this right on top. And we're going to open this up. that on there. Let's see here. I want to center it. There we go. Alright. Okay. It is not stuck down yet. Hang on. Okay, I'm just going to leave that on the side, and we're going to do this. So these are the dies that come with the embellishment book, and we're going to just layer them for the spine. And after I'm off camera, I'm going to add the word fall, because this video is long enough. You don't want to see me cut it. Okay, got a little bit of extra glue on that. Okay, and this is the spine.
And we're going to put it this way and center it. And then we're going to do this to get it to stick. Make sure it didn't move. And like I said, I'm going to put the word fall. So that is the entirety of this mini album. I hope you enjoyed it. It's very detailed. And I know I was doing the postage stamp mini album. I was supposed to do a detailed uh, tutorial for that. But it does take a lot of work to make all these different inserts and pockets and things like that. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Again, remember to sprinkle kindness like confetti wherever you go. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye-bye.